Hey guys, so I'm sorry if the uh qual the the lighting quality is not that good. Today I'm gonna be making a paper squishy. Now, I've seen videos on YouTube of how to make paper squishies. Um, and they s and basically you need you need to get different things. And this seems pretty simple. You just grab paper, write what do you want on it, fill it with your stuffing of choice, and then you tape it together. Uh, hi, see, hi, bud, hi, bud. Um, so today I'm going to be making a, making a, a, a pair of squishy. There's tons of different ways, just, um, stuffings that you can use. There's actually a video on YouTube, just look up, um, like, stuffing for squishies or something, or something like that. And you can find different alternatives to using stuffing from, like, caught, like, pillows. They also offer polyfill, which you can get from Walmart or whatever. I think I think Amazon might have it. And those are what people use mainly for stuffing squishies. But today, I'm, I'm going to be making a simple squishy that is simple. You can use garbage bags. Not gar yeah, you can use plastic bags, cotton balls, um, toilet paper, I think. Um, and really anything like that. Watch more videos on YouTube to find out other supplies you can use. I'm going to be making a simple one that everyone's going to have. And this is a cotton ball squishy. Most people have cotton balls laying around their house or some type of cotton. Or it can be caught, um, cotton uh, cotton fluffy, like 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 stuffing from like a pillow. Or get the bags of it from Amazon. People use that a lot. But today I'm going to be making a basic, squ a basic squishy. First up is gather your supplies. Um, that's pretty simple. You can also use a stapler, but I'm going to be using tape, but you don't need scissors. Now, I just, well, yeah. you'll need paper. You'll need paper. It can be lined or it can be, uh, like, uh, like white, like cardstock, I think. Not cardstock, but like white paper with no lines. Um. I would, you can do it with, with with lines or without lines. And if you use paper that has this type of poke like thing like thing on it, just use scissors and take that away. Like cut that away. Cause it won't be needing that. So you know, you need things of paper. Now this one did did come in my mind for making a, for making a paper squishy. I'm not sure if the idea that I have in my mind is gonna work out. Hopefully it will. I'm not watching, I have not watched the video in like a month or two, so kind of forgot, but I'm going to hopefully do my best. Um, also some, oh, but yeah, the the first step is to ga gather your supplies, um, which is paper. You can use, so this is some tape that, I, that I'm going to be using. Any tape will work, Jot, some Dollar Tree, any tape. Um, I'm just using this invisible tape that I think I, that I get from Ollie's. And this is a lot of, this is tape that I usually use for my, um my fashion um designing book but i will but make sure that's a, that's um the invisible slash clear tape or whatever i like to call it clear tape because it's clear it's really translucent and you can't really see anything through it um and if it's the white if it's the white type um if it's the white type do not use that uh i mean you can use the white type but it's going to be I would not I would not recommend it because it's more white than the clear tape, but you can use any tape. You can also use a use a stapler in case you don't want to use tape to keep it in place. I know some and I, I know some people use tape, but I I use tape. Um, you can use a um, a stapler in case you want that, but be careful of the staples, especially if a young kid is using it, to, um, like making it not yeah m m making a plank with it. So I would recommend you use tape just to be safer unless you know how to use it. Also, cotton balls or any stuffing. Watch videos on YouTube, like I said, of different things to stuff your squishies with. I'm using cotton balls. I'm not going to use all of them because I'm going to use some of them for her nails. But I will use the I will use a, a good amount and then I will save, them, save the rest for my mom for her nails and use like other stuff to improvise such as um, like toilet paper. Which is, I think, one of the options. But this is some con balls that we get from Dollar Tree. And I also have to grab two more items. Two more items, you heard right. 
earn some this and I think also Actually, three, three more items. Yeah. Supplies are pretty simple. Come on, focus. It's just this. Uh, it's just some paper, some lined paper or not lined. Um, so that's good. And mine came from a notebook. You can use yours with a note. You can get your paper from from notebook. Or you can just, um, or you can just get re get the paper without the lines. Um, just just like I said, tape. Or you can use a stapler. But if you are younger, use some tape because it's easier to do. And definitely don't use the white the white pa the white tape. Make sure it has transparent or not. Tra yeah, invi invisible tape. Stuffing. I'm using cotton balls. Um, and also to and also to toilet paper. And, um, scissors in case you, cause, cause you will be needing scissors to cut in case you're getting the, um, the notebook in case you are using paper from a notebook to cut this part away. Also, in case you want to be decorative with your squishy, um, you can get, you can use any type of washi tape, um, to decorate your, the outside of your squishy. I'm using this, um, dog bread. Um, washi tape that I got from an Inku crate, Inku crate, Inku crate, Inku crate, um, and, um, also these silly, sweet, sweet, and stinky markers that I got off of Amazon, um, to make it, um, because I'm going to be drawing an outline, um, of what I want to look like, and then, um, And then, yeah, so I'm going to be doing my front and back and then coloring it. So let's just get started. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, actually, that's actually going to be the, so yeah, I'm, I'm just going to cut off the, cut the little thingy right here. Just cut off the. Cut off this from the, uh, from the paper. If you're younger, use, use safety, safety scissors. So now that I have this, I'm going to grab my, You can do anything you want. I think I'm gonna go for a chocolate bar. Squishy. And I'm going to grab a pen or a pencil. And then also you can use a permanent marker if you want to. Permanent marker, just don't use a dry erase, mar a dry erase marker. And you're probably wondering why. And the reason is we have our paper for our front and back. So one's gonna be our front, one's gonna be your back of our squishy tape to tape it all together, the front and back sides together and front top. So our stuffing, which is cotton balls and toilet paper, scissors, to cut the little things if you get your paper from a notebook. Binding, not binding, whatever. Um, I don't know. Um, so washi tape, in case you want to make your squishy decorative. I'm just using this from Inky Create. It's a dog bun, dog bread squishy. Not, not squishy, washi tape, but it's not necessary. And then 
I'm probably doing this completely wrong, but anyway. But again, it's something that I caught that I got in my head. And then there's just a permanent marker that I got from Dollar Tree in like a a, a tenner pack. Um and it's really cool. It's just brown. You can use any color to outline it, but I'm gonna make a make a chocolate bar. And then the other thing is going you I'd recommend you use a black pen and not brown. I really could only find that. Or you or you can use a pencil to outline it. And then just some markers or crayons to color the squishy. So, I have all my supplies. Cut I cut that off already. Now I'm gonna start by um, using my my permanent my permanent marker or my or my marker and just to, but make sure that it's not dry erase and doing the outline sketch. So I think I'm gonna go for a chocolate bar type theme. So. Um, actually, the the marker does not work, so I'm gonna. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this. Okay. Chocolate bar. I'm gonna make a chocolate bar squishy, so You can use a pen and marker wherever you have on hand. Okay, here's the one that I need for chocolate. Okay, I'm, I'm going to use the marker. Just going to, this is scented. So I'm just I'm going to be I'm doing the outline of the chocolate bar. go and I'm gonna write and you can use markers or crayons or whatever you have on hand to make you can use you can do food you can do whatever type of squishy you want I'd recommend for your be for your beginner squishy that you do um, that you do um 
that you use markers or, or, or whatever you have on hand, and then you just do your little, your little design. Tyler, what? what Making a squishy. Oh, you're right now? Yeah. Awesome. And then. And, I, and this is just the scented pack of markers I got from Amazon. Pretty cool. And then... Oh, dang it. Not in that one? Oh, okay, right here. And you can just color in your, your squishy. Use whatever color is dedicated to your squishy. I'm using brown because brown is the color of chocolate. Or also known as black. So I'm just coloring in... The chocolate bar. Could have made my my chocolate bar maybe um a little a little bit more um a little bit more better I guess a little bit more um thicker so I'm trying not I'm not I'm, I'm trying not not to do. Like, rub it super thick because this paper is very del delicate and I want to be able to not puncture a hole through the paper. Um, that's how I, I recommend doing um, crayons instead of, instead of markers or you're using a pen to do your outline. But you can, of course, get however, create, however creative. As you want. You, you you can get creative as you want with with making it. Now don't. Now I'm not sure if this is going to work, so. That, this is why it's kind of a test one. So now we're going to take our washi tape, or if you don't have washi tape, you can skip this step. And we're going to... You can, it's not, you don't have to use washi tape, but I'm just doing it to make it more decorative on the squishy. Not on the squishy, but on the paper, more like. And if you do have washi tape, we're going to make it like this. So where it is, um, so where we have space on the bottom to tape it, and then we where we have some, some space on the top. So don't over washi tape it. You can also use washi tape to secure it if you want to, in case you guys don't have regular tape or transparent tape or whatever. Um, to secure your squishy, you can use washi tape to secure your squishy. Um, just kind of depends. Now, if you don't have washi tape, you can kind of skip this step. Um, you can skip this step if you don't have washi tape or don't want to use it or whatever. Totally up to you. kind of doing this real quick now you don't have to put washi tape on if you don't want to I'm just doing it because I want it to be more decorative And 
it's kind of, kind of caught a crease in there, but hey, that's okay. So don't washi tape it too much. If you don't want, if you don't want you, if you don't, if you don't want to use washi tape, you can also opt for the other option, which is going to be um, using just markers or crayons or whatever you have on hand to decorate it. See, this is the, the that's the design of my washi tape. If you're a young kid, use safety scissors to do this. Cause I definitely want any I don't want any kid or any person who's doing this to get hurt. So now I have my little chocolate bar decorated, whatever you want to call it. If you want to, you can decorate the whole entire squishy with um, with washi tape um, on the sides and, and everything. You can just go. So I have my washi tape, and that is done. Okay. So my chocolate bar is officially complete. Now I'm going to work on my backside of my squishy. This, I'm not going to do a lot of decorating to. I'm just going to grab a marker. Smoke scented. And I'm just going to write. I'm trying not to puncture the squishy in any way. I'd, I'd recommend you use like harder paper. Is decorating the I'm busy decorating the outside guys or or the backside of 